Welcome to our tutorial on becoming a certified wastewater operator in Massachusetts. New England Interstate Water Pollution Control Commission was established by an act of Congress in 1947. It is a not-for-profit interstate agency that utilizes a variety of strategies to meet water-related needs of our member states. New England Interstate, also known as NUIPIC, has been providing wastewater training on a regional basis since 1968. The Interstate, in conjunction with MassDEP, has been administering wastewater certification programs on behalf of the state since 2005. One does not have to be certified to work in a wastewater treatment facility. However, those in responsible charge must be certified to the proper grade. To be certified, you must first pass a certification exam. To be full active at a particular grade, you must also possess a certain level of experience. All of this is described in the above regulation, 257 CMR 2.00. This regulation can be found at this website. There are 11 grades of certification in Massachusetts. There is municipal, grades 1 through 4, industrial, grades 1 through 4, combined certification at grades 5C and 6C, and grade 7, which is a certification that is granted by the Board of Certification. Municipal certification is for operators that work with biological processes, such as domestic wastewater treatment or the treatment of organic industrial waste. Industrial certification is for those who work with physical chemical treatment, such as pH adjustment, metals removal, and so on. Certification in either of these areas is mutually exclusive of the other through grade four. Combined certification allows one to work in either area. Municipal wastewater treatment deals with waste from domestic sources, such as residences, schools, hospitals, commercial establishments, and industry. It's primarily a biological process, although there is some physical removal of materials that cannot be treated biologically. In this process, organic waste is broken down by billions of bacteria, which are ultimately removed as biosolids. The treated water is then disinfected before being discharged to the receiving streams, thereby protecting the health of downstream users. Industrial treatment is actually a pretreatment of industrial waste prior to discharging to a collection system. This is done to protect the municipal facility from harm that may be caused by the various pollutants found in industrial wastewater, such as extremes in pH, metals, materials that could interfere with the biological operation or pass through untreated. Industrial treatment is a physical chemical removal of pollutants by screening, precipitation, or chemical reactions. Combined certification at grades 5C and 6C allows an operator to work in either municipal or industrial treatment facilities. After establishing sufficient experience at the grade 6C level, operators may apply to the Board of Certification for grade 7 status. This is the highest level in Massachusetts certification. Here we have a flow chart to help guide you through the certification process. Determine which exam you wish to take. Are you prepared for that level of certification? If not, you'll want to consider formal classroom training or self-study courses. Once prepared for that exam, you may sign up and take the exam. 
If you do not pass, again, consider formal classroom training or self-study courses. Once you have passed the exam, you will then apply to New England Interstate for your actual certificate. A certified operator must obtain 20 training contact hours every two years in order to renew their certificate. These are courses suggested for the various certification levels. At grades one and two municipal, basic wastewater math, basic operation of municipal wastewater treatment plants, and basic wastewater laboratory procedures is suggested. As one moves upward in certification, the intermediate operation of municipal wastewater treatment plants, advanced math review for operators, municipal wastewater operation review, and process control laboratory are suggested. For industrial certification at grades one and two, it is suggestion that you consider basic wastewater math, basic industrial wastewater treatment, and the review for industrial certification exams. At the advanced level of industrial certification, the advanced industrial wastewater treatment course and the advanced pump course are suggested. At the highest levels of certification, grades 5C and 6C, it is suggested that you consider advanced operation of municipal wastewater treatment plants, advanced math review for operators, the review for industrial certification exams, the advanced pump course, and you may wish to consider joining the Massachusetts Wastewater Management Training Program. Math is an integral part of process control for wastewater treatment. While the math involved in wastewater calculations is not very complicated, the formulae used are very specific to the industry. Individuals who have not used math in many years would find the basic wastewater math course to be helpful in refreshing their math skills and also familiarizing themselves with the calculations that are used in this industry. The exams for Massachusetts wastewater certification are developed by the Association of Boards of Certification known as ABC. They are computer-based exams available at specific test centers Monday through Saturday. Application for the exam is done through Applied Measurement Professionals, AMP, at their website, www.goamp.com. The wastewater certification exams are multiple choice exams. For both municipal and industrial exams, at grades one and two, the exams are 50 questions each, and the passing grade is 66% or better. For grades three, four, and five combined, the exams are 100 questions each, with a passing grade of 65% or better. And at the grade six combined level, the exam is 100 questions, and the passing grade is 70% or better. Once you have passed your exam, an application for certification is submitted to New England Interstate, along with a copy of your test report and the administration fee. This form can be found at our website, Once you have passed and applied for your certificate, there are three categories of certification that may be given to you. When and if. This is for a person who has passed their certification exam but is not currently employed in the industry. Operator in training. 
This is for a person who has passed the exam and is working in the industry, however does not have sufficient experience to operate at that grade level. Full active. This is for those who have passed the certification exam, are working in the industry, and have sufficient experience to be operating independently at that particular grade level. For questions regarding training, you may contact Jim LaLiberty at New England Interstate, 978-349-2517. Questions regarding certification, you may contact Paul Spina at New England Interstate, 978-349-2516. Here we have some resources for self-study or online training. Thank you.